roll. And I think we're beginning great. All right, welcome back everyone to our weekly live stream. My name is Alicia and today we're going to talk about some test taking tips. So uh, lots of you have said you need to take like a TOEIC or maybe TOEFL test or the IELTS. Um, a lot of you are studying to improve your English language proficiency. So today's theme, today's topic is going to be test taking tips. So we thought about this with the TOEIC test in mind, um, but today a lot of the tips we're gonna talk about are probably useful for different tests as well, tests uh, other than the TOEIC test. So today's theme is going to be uh, test taking tips. I hope it's useful for you guys. So we're going to start in a few minutes, but before we begin uh, today's lesson, uh, as always, a few announcements. One, if you have not checked yet, uh, if you haven't checked yet on the YouTube channel, you can find uh, our 1 million, oh yeah, I think you'll see a graphic here. Ooh. I think uh, you'll find, we recently, if you didn't know, we recently passed 1 million subscribers on the YouTube channel, very exciting. But if you check the YouTube channel, there is a special 1 million subscribers uh, deal available. So please go check that in the link to this video, there's a special like 1 million subscribers present. So please go check that if you want to study at EnglishClass101.com. Um, there's a good deal there. I think it's 50% off, something like that. But the deal is still available. So please go check that out. Very exciting. Okay, I see YouTube is up and it looks like Facebook is up as well. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Good morning. Good evening, wherever you are. As I said before, today's topic is test taking tips, test taking tips. So we're going to talk about uh, like the TOEIC test. So I prepared today's uh, content kind of with the TOEIC uh, listening and reading tests in mind. But like I said, um, actually, this is the tips we're going to talk about today are things you can use for other tests as well. So I hope that this uh, is all useful in some way. Okay. Um, also, there was one other thing that I wanted to mention. Oh yes, of course, if you are just joining the video, please make sure to like the video. Please do give us a like. It will help other people find the video. Yeah, exactly. Hit the like button, the love button. Uh, and of course, if you want, also share it. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Great. So with that, we are about three minutes in. Hello, chat from Mexico. Hi, uh, Ezekiel. Hi. And on Facebook, Ayub, Yogendra, Young, Madi. Hi, everybody. Good. It looks like everything is ready. So I want to begin uh, today's lesson. Okay. First, since today's topic uh, is about the uh, the TOEIC test, I want to explain, like, what is the TOEIC test? So, uh, first of all, the TOEIC test, T-O-E-I-C, T-O-E-I-C, stands for, stands for the Test of English for International Communication, Test, uh, test of English for International Communication. So, this means, um, this is a, an English proficiency test. It tests your level of English ability, if you don't know. So the test is used for different things in different countries. So, for example, some employers, some people who are looking for uh, candidates for jobs use the TOEIC or use other similar tests uh, to check the level of English proficiency among candidates. So this test is useful for uh, jobs, uh, for job applications, preparing uh, job applications. That's one. Also, uh, some universities also ask for TOEIC scores uh, in the application materials. So you might see TOEIC scores or there might be other test scores that universities ask for in the admission materials. So um, sometimes having a test score, some kind of English language proficiency test score can be really useful for you in your job search or in your university preparation. So, as I said, um, there are two parts to the TOEIC test. There's a listening and a reading part. That's one. So we're going to focus today the tips on reading and listening parts of the test. Those will be the two focuses for today. 
Oh, I think you'll see it here in just a second, actually. Yeah, nice. Okay, so we're going to focus today on um, one part, really, of the TOEIC test and other tests as well. Uh, there's, as I said, there's a listening and a reading part. There's also a speaking and a writing part. Um, but for today, yeah, here we go. So there's a listening and a reading part of the test, um, which I'm going to focus the tips on for today. Um, and then, of course, speaking and writing, maybe our last tip today uh, can help a little bit with this one. Um, so let's focus on the listening and reading part for today. Good. Okay, so with that in your mind, let's begin. Uh, I want to begin with a very general tip. I think this tip, this is one you can use for pretty much any test, really. Uh, the first tip, I uh, hope you can see here. Good, yeah. All right, so first uh, kind of category is to know the format. So know the format of the test. So no means like understand or like before the test, you should understand the format of the test. So like what can you expect on the test, in other words. So know the format of the test, know the test format, okay? So this means, this can mean a few things. This means like each section of the test. So many tests are divided into, into different sections. Um, so, for example, uh, you need to know how long is the listening section? How long is the reading section of a test? So understanding how much time you have uh, and what you are expected to do in each test section. So know each section is one point. The second point here is the time, as I said. So time means like how long do you have to answer each, uh, each section? How long do you have before uh, you need to finish each section? So understand how much time you have and understand each section of the test, each part, each part of the test. Uh, Caesar and YouTube, yes, the template of the test is another way to understand this. So uh, imagine, yeah, you can imagine it as like a template. So which style questions are first, second, and third? Yes. Uh, Saroj, yes, it is a live lesson right now. Now is a live lesson, yes. Um, good, okay, and if you have questions, let me know, let me know. It is live uh, right now, <laughs> right now it's live. Okay, so we have uh, knowing each section of the test is one. Time is another one. And then I want to mention, last one, I hinted at it before, uh, the type of question, the type of question. So by type of question, I mean really two things. Um, they are, there are two very common ways of kind of asking questions on tests. They are what's called fill in the blank. Actually, I use these in our whiteboard videos, if you've seen these. So fill in the blank is like when there's some something, 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 and then a blank space, and then something else. This part, this style question is called fill in the blank, fill in the blank. So this part, fill in, we talked about this in last week's lesson, actually, fill in the blank. So it means like enter, put something in to the blank. This is the blank, <clears throat> the blank space, fill in the blank. So this is one type of question, fill in the blank. The other type of question you should know, are the questions multiple choice? This is another nice keyword for today, multiple choice. Multiple, so meaning more than one, this is questions where you have like A, B, C, or D to choose from. This is multiple choice questions. So are your questions uh, fill in the blank questions or are they multiple choice questions? So it's good to know the type of question. So these are the very basic ones for format, your general test taking tips for format. So some ways to understand this for the test, uh, if you don't know, if you don't know the format of the test, this can be for TOEIC, it can be for something else. How do you learn? How do you learn the format for the test? So to do that, uh, just a couple, just two ideas, pretty simple ideas, I think. Um, to check the format of the test, you can research online, of course, it's pretty quick. Just Google search, you know, like what is this test? So in our case, the TOEIC format, uh, format for TOEIC test. Or um, you can try, you can get a practice test. So a practice test, you can, depending on the test you want to take, um, you can buy like a practice test book 
or you can sometimes find free resources online. So definitely know the test, know the format of the test before you take the test. This is the first part I want to mention. Okay, let's go, and I don't see any uh, other questions here. Good, okay. So let's go on to the second part, the second group, I suppose, of tips for today. Phew. Uh, so the second kind of um, category for tips that I want to talk about is uh, the related to answers. So this is when you are taking the test. So the first category, oh, that's far. It's far away. Okay, so the first category was know the format. So this is before the test. But when you're taking the test or when you're taking a practice test, uh, this is one category of kind of hints you can think about. So that's preview answer. So preview means look ahead. So before the time, preview. So look at it before the time uh, you need to look at it. So you see this with like movies, for example. Before the movie comes out, we see a preview of the movie. So preview the answers to your questions. So this means, especially for like reading questions, read the answers first. So when you find a question on the test, uh, read the answers. The, that you can choose from, read those first. This can help you save time. So first, take a look at your answers, the answers that you have to choose from. So if you're looking at multiple choice, look at all of the multiple choice options first. If you're looking at a fill in the blank question, look at the blank. What is the information you need to fill in? What information do you need to find? So read the answers first, preview the answers for your text. Then this can help you Eliminate incorrect, incorrect means wrong, incorrect answers. So eliminate means remove or get rid of something. So like if we have a multiple choice question, for example, and we see that A, B, C, and D are our options, but we read the answers first and we understand A is not possible, B is not possible, D is not possible, then we know C is the correct answer there. So previewing your answers can help you to understand what you're looking for and can help you to remove things that are incorrect. So this can be really, really helpful and a really big time saver. So I'm going to talk about this later. Okay, good. All right. Uh, I don't see any questions here, but it's time to take a break. Okay, so let's take a quick break here. I'm going to erase this during the break, but don't worry. If you missed this or if you want to write notes, you can check the video on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter. So check this out uh, later. But uh, as always, we have some free stuff for you guys. Woo! So this week, again, we have, uh, if you missed it, free PDFs for you to check out. So these are from EnglishClass101.com. Here, I talked about it last week, but we have, so they're, they're printable PDFs like this one. This is the school one. So if you're using a test to uh, like check your level of English proficiency, then um, you might be applying for a school, for a university with this. So this is one you can find for free. Uh, the link is below the video on YouTube, above the video on Facebook and Twitter and Twitch. Another one uh, I showed last week is the business English one. So if you're using TOEIC or another test to apply for a job, uh, this could be quite good. So these are a couple examples. We have a lot more. I have a whole bunch of them here. These are all free. You can get them from the website. Um, so please check the link below the video on YouTube above the video on Facebook as well. And you can find these for free. Woo. So please go download those. Uh, you can use them to boost your vocabulary. I'll talk a little bit more about that tip. Um, on Facebook, Jira Luxemi. Yes, this is American English. I have an American English accent. Yes. Okay. So Sorry, that is our break. Sure. Oh my gosh. Alexa turned on. How do I turn that off? 
Okay. <laughs> that was good. Okay. Let's move along then to, <laughs> that was funny. Let's move along then to the second part of today's lesson. So I'm going to erase the board. Sorry. I'm going to erase the board now and we're going to go to our second set of tips. If you are just joining us, today's topic is test taking tips, test taking tips. So specifically, we prepared this with the TOEIC in mind, the TOEIC test, specifically the listening and reading part of the test. Uh, but these are some good tips for taking tests in general. But uh nice, nice semi-clean board. Okay, let's go on to the next group of tips. Okay, uh, so if you're just joining as well, if you're just joining, please do. Please make sure to hit the like button or the love button, of course, on Facebook and YouTube so other people uh, can find the video. Yes. Um, okay, let's get started. So we're going to move on. I have another two categories for tips prepared for the second part of today's lesson. Alrighty then. So let's move along to our next group. Can I go down? Thank you. Or, oh, I see. Okay, sorry. Never mind. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, guys. Okay. Uh, let's go on to the next group of tips. Facing out. All right. The first, the second group part, okay, is to mark answers immediately mark answers immediately okay so what does this mean to mark an answer so marking your answer if you're taking a test like usually you have to fill it in with some like with a pen or a pencil you have to fill it in like this or i suppose now we don't use this check mark for tests but mark your answer it means choose your answer select the answer immediately it means right away do it quickly do it really, really quickly. So this can save you time for sure. So to go back to our tip from the first part of today's lesson, to do this, previewing your answers can be important. So that means it'll save you some time to preview your answers, to look ahead in the test, to see what do you need to do? What do you need to find? Uh, Harley, we do have a whiteboard, but it cannot fit in this room. Our whiteboard does not fit in this room. Thank you. A lot of you have said that, but we don't have a whiteboard that fits in this room. Anyway, uh, mark your answers immediately. So that means previewing your answers. And it means if you can mark your answers right away, you can preview the next answers. So by this, I mean the answers to the next question. So if you mark your answer to question one right away, immediately, you can move on then to preview the answers for question two. So this can be a time-saving tip. If you, if you look at an answer and you think, I know the answer, just mark it. So there's a key expression. Um, this is kind of a casual expression that we use. It's... Uh, go with your gut. Go with your gut. So uh, this is an expression we use that means like trust your instinct, trust yourself. So if you feel an answer is correct, just mark it. So your gut, your gut refers to like this part of your body, your stomach. But go with your gut means trust your gut, meaning your instinct, something from your body. So go with your gut. So trust it and mark your answers immediately if you think you know the answer. Alrighty, let's go on to the next part. Okay, the next group of tips are kind of the kind of, I guess, about reading, the reading sections a lot, the reading sections of tests. So um, let's look at these uh, for a category title. I guess we could say uh, don't read the text first. Don't read the text first. This might sound like a strange tip, but if you have taken uh, a reading test, some kind of language proficiency test, and there's a big block of text, uh, the tip here is don't read that block of text first. Instead, uh, read the questions or the possible answers first. So this goes back to uh, 
uh, this point about previewing your answers, you can still do this in the reading sections of tests. So preview the answers, meaning read the questions like below the text or preview the possible answers before you read the text so that you know what you're looking for. So do this first so you don't have to go back and forth and back and forth, question, text, question, text, to find the answer or to find even the question you're trying to answer. So this can help save you some time. Yeah, Tara says, I think I spend a lot of time thinking about whether it's correct or not. Yeah, so this can help you identify where to spend your time on the text. Okay, so this is one. Then after you read the questions and the possible answers, when you do, so after you read the questions, possible answers, go read the text then and look for keywords in the text. So this means looking for key parts in the text that seem like they might answer the questions you found in this step. So you're looking for things that might answer the possible, uh, the, the questions, or that might fit the possible answers here. So look for keywords when you read through the text. So this is, uh, <coughs> this is <coughs> sorry, this can be a way to save some time uh, so you don't have to switch back and forth, reading and checking answers, reading and checking answers. Um, so keep these in mind. Uh, but this, I think maybe this one is a key tip in general uh, for today, for almost all of the categories, is to preview your answer. So this here, and we see it over here for reading parts too. Good. Okay. I don't see any questions yet. If you have any questions, you can send them in the chat while we're live anyway, after it's live now. Okay. Good. So. With that, that will be our kind of, let's see, tips three and tips four for today. Uh, so we'll take one more quick break and then we'll go on to today's last point. Um, very exciting, but for now, quick break. If you just joined us, yeah, today we're talking about uh, test taking tips, test taking tips, but we have lots of free stuff for you guys, lots of free stuff. So TOEIC tips, yeah. So not only TOEIC tips, TOEIC, yes, TOEIC is kind of the basis for today, but we do have free stuff as always, free stuff. So again, this is the business English. This is a PDF file. So we have a lot of free PDFs uh, available on the website at englishclass101.com. Um, this is a, a page where you can get all of the uh, free PDFs. So I think there are a lot now. If you checked before, um, maybe you saw a few of these, but the team a few weeks ago added some new PDFs. So these are all free. So definitely go check this out. Go download these. If you have an account on the website, you can download them for free right away. If you don't have an account, you can make one quickly and get them for free also. So please check the link below the video on YouTube above the video on Facebook. Uh, YouTube, Chai Ju says right away. Right away means now, now. You can do that right away. You can do it now. Nice one, thanks for the question. Yeah, right away means now. So if you didn't catch it, the question just now. Someone asked, what does, I said you can go download those right away. Someone said, what does right away mean? Right away means now. <laughs> so I said, go download those right away. Right away means now. Go download those now or very, very soon. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Uh, Juan, yes, you can. There is a free option on the website. There is a free option. So some of you, very thank you very much, to our like premium members on the website, but you can download them for free. There is a free option also. Uh, Crispin, the live class is once a week, once a week, once a week at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, on Wednesday nights, Wednesday nights, New York City time, once a week. So this time, if you're watching live. Okay, let's go on to our last tip for today. Da -da. Okay, I need to erase the board one more time. Don't worry, this is a video. If you missed it, you can watch the video on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. So. Let's erase and go on to our next tip. Also, if you're just joining, please make sure to like the video, maybe share it if you're feeling very generous. <laughs> like, let's go on though to our last tip for today. Uh, so I hinted, I hinted at this tip earlier, 
I am very chalky now. Black was a bad choice. <laughs> so let's go on to our last tip for today. Yeah, don't chalk up. Oh no, my pants are very chalky now. That's okay. Looks very, very artsy. All right, let's go on to the last tip for today. Uh, the last tip for today is a big one, actually. This is one, it's not only going to help you with test taking skills, it's just a language tip in general, honestly. But in case you need a reminder, in case you need a reminder, uh, the last tip for today is build your vocabulary. Build your vocabulary. So build meaning like make it bigger, make it bigger. So build your vocabulary. Yeah. Follow the instructions. Follow the instructions in general. Okay, good. Uh, the last tip, huh? the last tip, our producer's making a joke. Follow the instructions of the test, of course. But actually, build your vocabulary is my last tip for today. So uh, that means understand, like, you need to always be working to improve uh, your vocabulary. So how do you do that? How do you improve your vocabulary here? All right, a couple of different ideas. Actually, a lot of you have asked in live chats, you've asked me and like ask Alicia, you ask in YouTube comments, how do I improve my vocabulary? So here are a few ideas. If you're out of ideas, here are a few ideas to build or improve your vocabulary. First, note new words. So note, note, we, I've used it as a verb here. To note, literally, like make a note or write it in your phone or something. Or just be aware, ah, that's a new word. Like someone in the YouTube chat said, what does uh, right away mean? That's a great example. So that's a new word, like a lot of you maybe just realized. So note new words, be aware of new words or physically take a note as well is fine. Yes, I am covered with white powder. You can't see. <laughs> so, uh, note new words is one. The next one, the next tip for building your vocabulary is listen to English media. Listen to English media. So, this means TV, movies, music, uh, whatever it is you like to listen to. Podcasts, live streams. <laughs> yeah, if you like to listen to live streams, like our live stream. Uh, listen to English music for sure so that you can understand one, uh, the rhythm of speech, but also so that you can find new vocabulary words in the media you're listening to. So listen to English media. Also, and this is a point I talk about in, uh, in this week's episode of Ask Alicia, make sure to listen actively, not just passively. I talk about this more in this week's episode of Ask Alicia. You can watch on YouTube, but there's a difference. So passive listening means you're not paying attention. Like you're just listening to something and like you're cooking or you're cleaning your house. You're not focusing your attention on the thing you're listening to. So make sure to listen actively. That means you're listening to something, like maybe now you're actively listening to me, I hope, <laughs> but you're actively listening. Like what is this person saying? What kind of grammar is the person using? What vocabulary words are they using? So uh, don't only listen passively to your media sources, listen actively as well. So this is another point to build your vocabulary. Listen to English media, good. Okay, let's go to the next one. The next tip to build your vocabulary is to read in English. Read. So this can be like news. This can be the newspaper. This can be your favorite blog, a magazine, social media. Like we have stuff on the website you can read. So read in English. So this can show you, um, of course, new vocabulary, which is our tip for here, building new vocabulary. Uh, but also you get to see, you know, proper grammar. It's, well, if you're reading something written by a person who is a, a proper writer. But you can see this. Uh, if you do this, then you'll be able to see like the way sentences are constructed, the way sentences are made, how sentences are created properly. Okay, so that's the next one. Finally, last little tip, because I've been telling you all day today. <laughs> if you want to 
if you want to boost your vocabulary with us, <laughs> if you want to boost your vocabulary with us, you can definitely check uh, our the PDFs I talked about. So if you just want a quick and easy way right now today uh, to grab some good resources for your studies, you can check out the free PDFs we have on the website. The link is below the video. So we have so many categories. I showed you back to school and business English, but this one is about your family and your relatives, if you don't know that. There's a lot for travel too. This one's checking into a hotel. So everything is two pages. So there's a lot to check, there's a lot to review. So it's not only single vocabulary words, it's actually phrases too. So like on the business English one, like this one. Oh, you can't see it. It's, it says, it says, I didn't catch that. Could you repeat that please? So not just vocabulary, but actually phrases that we use too. So check that out. These are all ideas to build your vocabulary. So give one a try, give many a try. Um, they're extremely useful. Like I personally, what do I do? I, I listen to people around me who speak a different language because I live somewhere where I can do that. But also actually I read in my target language. Like actually I like to read um, like news about hobbies and I also like to read the things my friends share on social media too. That's really nice. Good. All right. <laughs> Good. Okay. So actually, ah, I'm late. So we need to finish today's lesson on test taking tips. Excellent. Thank you guys very much for joining us as always. It was fantastic. Very nice. But we have to finish for today. Dun, dun, dun. So let's go to our introduction to next week's topic. Next week, da -da, next week's live stream will be Wednesday, April 11th. Uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time is New York City time. New York City time. If you don't know this time in your country, in your city, please Google it. <laughs> please Google it. So please check that out. If you are in, uh, yeah, it's 11 a.m. Uh, Japan time, Tokyo time, um, if, you're, if that's more helpful for you. Anyway, yes, I have to go already, my sorry, it's only a 30 minute show. Oh, a producer says check dateandtime.com, dateandtime.com. You can find your time zone for this time. Doo -doo. Great, so check that out. So next week, we're going to talk, yeah, <laughs> check out English class before you check out date and time. <laughs> so uh, next week, we're going to talk about if and when. I talked about this very, very quickly in last week's live episode. You can check last week's episode if you like. I talked about this, but many of you had questions about it, if and when, especially using if, like making conditional sentences. So next week we're going to talk about the differences between these, and we're going to talk about some patterns, um, some common patterns you can use with these. So that will be next week's focus. All right. With that, then I'm going to finish today's lesson. Thank you so much for liking and sharing the video. We really appreciate it. I appreciate it. Our team appreciates it. So thank you so much for liking us, uh, for sharing us and for joining today. Good luck with your test taking. I hope you I hope you do a nice job uh, with your with all of your tests, as always. Um, but next week, we'll be back with a different topic. So I'll finish there. Have a nice day. Have a nice night. Don't forget to download your free stuff from the link below or above the video. And I'll see you next week. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.